Hello, my friends. Welcome back to another video. So this video in the recipe series is going to be about pouring mediums. When do you use them? How do you use them? What's the difference in these different products here? We're going to jump right in and get started. Before we start, I want to thank everybody that joined me Friday night for my auction. It was a great time. I sold all but one piece. So thank you, thank you, thank you from the bottom of my heart for participating. So let's talk about pouring mediums. Pouring mediums, there are so many. This is not even all of them. Every company that has a paint product most likely has a pouring medium also. Uh, you have Polypour, that's Color Arts Pouring Medium. You have Artist Loft, that's Michael's Pouring Medium. You have Liquitex. You have GAC 800, which, believe it or not, was originally Golden's brand of a pouring medium until they more recently made another one. But this was intended for pouring originally. Now people talk about it. You know, they use it for cracking and crazing, but it can be an actual pouring medium if you want it to. Uh, liquid glass, another pouring medium and or a finish for your paintings. So some of them have multiple uses. Some of them you, you can use, well, all of them you can use by yourself, by themselves. You can combine them with other ingredients to get special effects which is what a lot of artists will do. You'll see a recipe where somebody's using Liquitex, they're using Floetrol, they're using a little bit of GAC. Um, it, they're doing that because each product kind of offers its own little quality, we'll say. So when it comes to Liquitex, Liquitex has a matte, pouring medium. They have a gloss pouring medium and they have, I think another one, I think it's called special effects or something like that. I've never used it or bought it. So we won't talk about that one. The, the two popular ones would be the gloss and the matte. Now the difference between those two would be this one will make your paints dry with a little bit of shine. Whereas the matte version of this won't offer any of that, that shim, sheen to your dry painting. Now, Liquitex also sells another product that some artists will use that's called gloss medium and varnish. Now, can you use this to pour paints with? Absolutely. Now, I want you to take notice. This is, I believe, a 16 ounce bottle. Look at the price. These are very expensive. So when you use something like these products, you're not going to use them the same way you would use something like glue or Floetrol that's inexpensive, okay? You're going to use just, you know, a, a, maybe a tablespoon to your paints of something like one of these here and then thin it out the rest of the way with some water or if you're, you're wanting to not add that much water to your paints because you're worried about it affecting the quality of your paint. Or maybe you're using a cheaper brand of paint, something like a, a craft paint, like a Apple Barrel or a Craftsmar or um, Deco Art even. You're not gonna wanna add a lot of water to those. So your options are to use more of this, which is more pricey, or you're going to use a little bit of this, some Floetrol, uh, some water. So you see, that's why people choose to use multiple products in their recipe. A lot of artists will formulate a recipe and use that recipe for one thing with a little bit of alteration when it comes to a, a specific technique. So let's say we want to do um, a ring pour. And our recipe that we want to formulate is going to have some pouring medium, some Floetrol, uh, and some water. Well, that's great for the ring pour, right? 
Sorry, I, I think a spirit just came by and moved my camera on me. <laughs> anyway, where was I? I'm so distracted now. But, okay, so with that recipe would be good for a ring pour. But now let's say you want to use your paints to do something like a cloud pour. And your recipe is then going to have to be altered. So you would still use your pouring medium, your flow trawl, and your water. But you would add in a little bit of satin enamels because satin enamels is what makes that cloud effect or those little tiny pearl cells that you want to achieve. Each brand of pouring medium offers a different look almost in my opinion. Now it is very important for me to say these are just my experiences in using these products and my opinion. Not everybody may agree with what I say in these videos, but I'm telling you this is what I have experienced. This pouring medium right here, mixed into paint, will make a different cell, or those cells, the way they look, are different than Liquitex's. So you have to find, again, through experimentation, which one you like the best. Now, let's say, if you want to make a recipe, formulate a recipe that gives you a little bit of shine, gives you some cells, and you don't have to use that much water, go with something like a gloss Liquitex with some Floetrol, and you'll, you'll love the effects that you get. But now, let's say we want to do a Dutch pour, which we're going to do today, and we don't want a lot of cells in our Dutch pour. Don't use Floetrol. Floetrol is a cell promoter, okay? Use something just like a Liquitex gloss medium. I'm going to show you how I'm going to thin down the colors with it. Add a little bit of water and you're good to go. Blow out your Dutch pour. It will be beautiful. The one thing you have to remember, however, though, is when it comes to mixing your colors... You're not going to have to use a lot of these products to do that because even for a Dutch pour, we don't use a lot of the color on the canvas, right? But when it comes to our white base paint, now that's where using something like a pouring medium is going to cost you some money because you can't just use a tablespoon of this and thin the rest of the way with water because it your your paint that you're using for your base paint is not going to be oh how do i word this the structure of it is not going to hold that much water it will crack it will craze it will call, cause issues so you're going to have to use more of this product and less water now regarding this recipe that i'm going to use today it is important to know that this recipe will work for all techniques except for the bloom technique and the pearl cell technique. But it is also important to know that if you actually experiment with the thicknesses of your paints using just this product in water, you can get it to react pretty nicely and create a lot of lacing. So Again, acrylic pouring, there's just so much involved in learning how to achieve certain effects. Doing the actual technique itself, no. You either pour a ring pour or you blow out a Dutch pour. It's the paints and what you're adding to them that takes a lot of experimentation. So, yeah, that that's, like I said, you have to just, this is a more inexpensive brand like i said and it creates i can actually actually show you it creates when you add a few drops of silicone oil to it these most strangest looking cells that you really don't see with other pouring mediums they're just like very very odd shaped and i absolutely love how they look all right, and that was made with the Artist Loft Pouring Medium, a couple of drops of silicone in each color. 
and some water. That is it. So I did that same experiment using the Liquitex gloss medium, pouring medium, and I got some big pretty cells, but they did not look like that. So, you know, it's, it's all about experimentation. Now, again, the polypore is color arts pouring medium for their primary elements. You can also use this in your tube paints. And whatever I do today with measurements and all that, no, it would be the same for all of these, okay? The liquid glass, that is sold by TriArt. And I actually have a discount code for them. They sell this and many other uh, products, including paint. This can be used, it's got a dual purpose. You can use this as a pouring medium and your paints dry really, really shiny. And then once they're dry, you can take it and brush it on like a varnish. So it has a dual use to it. But again, I'm going to focus on the most popular, which is the Liquitex pouring medium. And with that, the measurements that I do, you can use any of these products to do that same thing. The gloss medium and varnish is another one like the uh, TriArt where you can use it as a pouring medium. You can use it in conjunction with one of these as a pouring medium and you can use it as a varnish, okay? So what I'm going to do is set up, we're gonna mix up some colors. I'm gonna mix up one of my colors and one or and the white to show you what the measurements are. And then we're gonna to try to do a Dutch pour with just pouring medium and water to see what it looks like. Does it stay more vibrant? Uh, are there any cells to it? We're gonna try that today and see how that goes. So for my white today, I'm using Artist Loft Flow Acrylic White, and I'm going to be using the pouring medium, as I said, and some water. That is going to be it. Now I'm going to get out um, a scale so that we can do actual measurements for this white. So I'm gonna put my cup on the scale and I'm going to hit the tear button to clear it out because you don't want the, the weight of the cup to be added into the weight of how much paint we use. If you need a scale, I do have them in my Amazon shop. So now this is also important when it comes to your white specifically, I make a lot of it just so I have it. Okay. Uh, I use white a lot and I use the same recipe a lot. This recipe though, I do not use a lot of, so I'm going to make just enough for, I don't know, we'll say a 12 by 24 canvas. Okay. So I'm just putting the paint in. Try to get it close to nine ounces as I can. There we go, right on the dot, nine ounces. So now I'm going to clear out that number and I'm going to add my pouring medium, my Liquitex gloss pouring medium. All right, so into that, we're going to add nine ounces of uh, paint and just about three ounces of the pouring medium. Well, oh, right on the dot. Okay. So nine paint, three on the pouring medium. I'm going to tear it out again. We're going to mix those two together first so that the pouring medium can bond to the paint. We want to do that before we go adding our water. Now, let me tell you, if you are going to do a pour such as a ring pour um, or any of the pours besides the Dutch pour that's really thin. This would be a really good consistency using though Artist Loft Flow Acrylic. 
if you use a heavier type of paint, then that would not be a good consistency. But for something like this, then that's a good consistency for all of those pours except the Dutch pour. But since we are going to do a Dutch pour, I need to now thin this out, okay? Now, here's another con of using an actual pouring medium with paint. You're not gonna use a lot of the pouring medium, right? Which means if you're doing a bigger canvas, you're going to have to do, you're going to have to use way more paint, okay? So that's another reason why people like to add more than just a pouring medium to their paints or more than just one item to their paints so that they can extend that paint further, make more of it. Because now I could technically come in with some Floetrol and fill this cup up to the top and be done. Not have to waste any more of my paint. That's more costly than the Floetrol or the pouring medium that's more costly than Floetrol. So that's why people like to use that. And like I said, it promotes cells. All right, so let's see how much water we're gonna add to this now, okay? I'm gonna start with 0.30. Oh, 0.35, so we're gonna say a third of an ounce of water. We're gonna give it a mix and then we're gonna check the consistency. Now, if you make less amount of paint or more amount of paint, these are not gonna matter, these measurements that I'm giving you. So just seeing the consistency of what it should be like, uh, maybe will help. Or if you make a cup of white paint with these exact measurements, just to see what the right consistency is for a Dutch pour, then you can go ahead and alter your numbers and know that once you start adding that water, if you get to this consistency, you're good. So this is a very good consistency for a Dutch pour here. Okay, it's flowing off the stick. It's not leaving a mound, not that you can see it. I'll put it on a piece of paper for you. Just so you can see how it flows. Okay, but again, now look, I only have not even a half a cup of paint here. So I need more paint. What am I gonna do? I can either add a bunch of more pouring medium to make up the difference because there's plenty of paint in there to color the pouring medium. That won't be an issue. I can add Floetrol. We don't wanna do that because I wanna do a Dutch pour with just pouring medium today. So I would have to add more paint and a little more of the pouring medium to make up that big cup. But I'm not going to do that. I am going to, um, actually, you know what, I lied. I am going to do that. But at least you have the measurements for the right consistency on the white. What I will end up doing is I'm gonna bite the bullet and add more pouring medium and a little more paint and then, um, I'll have enough, but those measurements won't matter for you. You have the, the measurements, the beginner measurements of what to use for nine ounces of paint. So before we move on to uh, colors, I just wanna recap. All of these products that you see everybody using, you have to figure out first budget-wise if you can afford to use them. If you can't, there is nothing wrong with using just Floetrol and water or just water or, you know, glue and water. You have to figure out for you what works right. Uh, pouring mediums, we'll say, are like the, the more expensive, they're the more expensive way. Uh, you know, you can go get a burger at a restaurant or you could go get a steak. You can use glue and water or you can use Liquitex pouring medium. Both are good though, right? A burger is good and a steak is good. It's just, it depends on what you want. And like I said, they all offer their own little unique kind of 
effect in your painting. And the only way you're going to learn about that is by experimenting. Well, I like pouring medium. Buy a little tiny bottle. Don't get the the huge $32 bottle. Get a, a $10 bottle. Try it in a pour. See if you like the effects you get. If you buy some of that and you have some glue and flow troll, add them all together. Uh, how much of each? Do a third of each. Make yourself a cup of pouring medium out of three different uh, different mediums and then add it to your paints. Do some experimenting, okay? So now I'm going to mix one color with you because they're all pretty much going to be mixed the same. However, it is important to say, depending on brand, the type of paint, whether it's a soft, medium, or heavy body paint, measurements will change, okay? So these measurements I give you today are for a medium type of paint, a medium body type of paint. So your Liquitex, your Artist Loft in the tube, um, you know, did this tube here, uh, Amsterdam, Pebio, you know, your tube paints. So this is the measurement for that, okay? And believe it or not, to confuse you even more, because Lord knows you need to be more confused, right? Let Tammy just confuse me some more. Depending on the color, it could be a different measurement. This yellow may take less water than uh, Artist Loft yellow. So... Again, the, the best favor you can do to yourself if you're new to pouring is get yourself one of these paints that you see me using today and use the measurements that I use just to find out what the right consistency looks like. And again, this consistency works for a Dutch pour. It may work for something like a ring pour, but it may be a little too thin in my opinion. So this is really just, you know, a Dutch pour measurement. So for paint, I'm adding in. Now, even though this is a medium body paint, it really feels heavy to me, but maybe this is a heavy body. Let me check. No, it's a medium body. Yeah, it's a medium body. It just feels so heavy. So I'm going to try to get a half ounce in there or as close to as I can. Okay, we did it. Now, as for the pouring medium, well, I'm a little over 55, but that's okay. We're close enough. For the pouring medium, what I normally do is I just put a squirt in. That's it. Um, that squirt is almost as much paint. The measurement, that is. So... We'll bring it up to as much paint. So we have a half ounce paint and half ounce of the pouring medium. Again, we're going to mix the pouring medium into the paint first so that it can have its bonding moment. And you can see, look at that, it's clumping up. So this is telling me this is a paint that I'm going to have to be very careful with because with the pouring medium, I can smooth it out easily enough. But once I start adding that water, it will clump and it won't be as easy as this to smooth out. Okay, water does a whole different thing to paint than pouring medium does. So we'll put that right back on there, tear it out. And what I'm going to do so that this doesn't take forever, because I have to do literally a couple of drops at a time and so, until it starts getting thinner, is I'll do this off camera and let you know exactly how much I added in there. Okay? So I'm literally putting 0 0.05 in at a time so that it does not clump on me. So I'm going to do this off camera so I don't waste a bunch of your time mixing, and I'll let you know how much it was. Okay, so it ended up taking 0 0.40 of water. All right, so I have all of my colors already mixed, as I said. So now we're going to do a Dutch pour with these colors. Now, if you watch Canela Sirocco art, this palette is going to look very similar to you because this is the palette that she did in her last video. Here is why I wanted to use this palette. And if you don't know who Canela is, 
please go check out her channel. I will put the link in the description below. She does amazing Dutch pours. And the reason why I wanted to use this exact palette with the Artist Loft is because she has been struggling with the Artist Loft lately. It's eating up all her colors. So I thought while I was doing a pouring medium recipe that I would try this palette with this Artist Loft Flow Acrylic um, to see if I have the same issues with this, which I don't believe I will. I believe that it may be um, the, the pouring medium. Pouring medium may stabilize it, but I wanted to do this for her just so she could see what the effects were like when it was done. So the colors I am using, and they will be laid down in this order as well, will be uh, Pebio Studio, I'm sorry, Pebio <laughs> Amsterdam Greenish Blue. Then I am going to do Pebio Iridescent Orange Yellow. Then Metallic Cobalt Blue. Now, I didn't have the cadmium medium yellow, but I had this medium yellow. Actually, I do have it. I just have such a mess. I don't know where anything is. And then lastly, I'll be adding onto the strip for the Dutch pour, the Windsor Violet. Okay? So let's do this Dutch pour and see what happens with these paints. Alrighty, so there you go. And we got some regular lacing, like what you would normally see in a Dutch pour. It's a little bit heavier than what it, it would normally be with a pouring medium, but we know that Artist Loft has changed that white paint. And, uh, but using a pouring medium also sometimes promotes little cells, uh, pearl cells, which you're seeing right here. So it may not even be the artist left. It may just be the, the pouring medium doing its job. But either way, it's a beautiful piece. I absolutely love it. And I hope you do too. So if you enjoyed this video, please click like and remember... If you subscribe and click the notification bell, you'll be notified when the next video comes out in the recipe series. Uh, I will be going on vacation this Saturday, July 10th. So I'm going to be releasing videos uh, 
when I'm on vacation, I'm going to build some up, but I'm not going to be doing the recipe series until I get back. But I'll have some uh, other really good videos if you care to watch. Okay. So discount for all some of the products that I use and links to my social media accounts, TikTok, Pinterest, Instagram, Facebook group, United We Pour Fluid Art group. All of that is in the description along with, uh, like I said, United We Pour Fluid Art group. If you want to join over there, that's our painting group on Facebook. We have a red, white, and blue monthly challenge going on. You can win a gift card, so head on over and join our group. Say hi, share your art, make friends with people that like the same thing that you like, and have a good time. Alrighty? Well, my friends, that will conclude this video. Until the next time, I love you all, and happy pouring.